What's going on guys? TTRX6 here back for another Transformers Masterpiece review and today we're taking a look at not MP01 as the box describes but this is a Masterpiece Acid Storm, a Toys R Us exclusive. Um, on the side here there is a bio. I put a picture at the end so you guys can read it if you want. Let's just skip right to the main attraction and here we go. You've got Acid Storm same as every other uh, version 2 MP Seeker. Yeah, he's a nice toy. Now, for some reason, my uh, camera shows him kind of like a minty green. He is a very vibrant, uh, like almost neon green. Um, I really can't figure out why I can't get that to focus on here enough to pull it off. But uh, he definitely is not as muted as he looks. Um, I really like the digital camo they put on the wings here. I know some people aren't a huge fan. I personally always liked it. You can see he came with the stand here, uh, which does say Acid Storm on it, and the nice uh, embossed Decepticon logo there. Really like that. Let's just put him down here for a second. Um, with as with the old Seekers, you did get the missiles, which you can still put on there, and uh, storable on the bottom here is the uh, little clip to uh, clip a Megatron to the bottom of Acid Storm. So looking at the core figure here, as you're probably mostly aware of, you do have the uh, landing gears here that can fold down like so, um, so you don't have to use that stand. And then in the front, the door flips down here, and if you can get in there, sometimes it's tough to do. You can get the front landing gear out I need. A little help here because I have no fingernails and there we go front landing gear is out and heals it perfectly like that one thing I'm not a huge fan of with the masterpiece uh, seekers here is how easy these back wings just kind of fall right off you can see this one is actually a little bit loose um, I don't think I mentioned it I wasn't gonna get this guy until Toys R Us had him for a real cheap sale and uh, I couldn't pass them up. Uh, Acid Storm is the only one that has the intakes, I guess they're intakes, that actually extend all the way back here. Most of them just end at the top and uh, this would be painted the color of your seeker. Of course you can open up the cockpit and inside we store our little uh, super green version of the uh, hollow jet pilot guy. Nothing too fancy there. And the uh, last thing, of course, is still the fact that you can uh, move the nose cone to expose the radar. And I suppose if you really want to, you can uh, also pop open the backs here for the engines like they used to be. But now they're doubling for the extra foot piece and your thrusters have a little bit of articulation. Not too bad. For a quick comparison, I'm not going to compare him to all the Seekers. Here is the uh, classic Acid Storm. You can just see how much of a difference in color uh, you end up having between these two and the difference in pattern. I'm not sure which one I like the pattern of better. Uh, the digital camo is really neat, but this one, the uh, Deluxe, has a better, you know, all throughout camo pattern than uh, this particular version. So let's actually get this guy to his uh, robot mode here. And uh, we're not going to delay too much. We just should get through this and get it done because you've probably already seen most of the uh, Masterpiece Seekers. So we're going to go ahead and disconnect the uh, null rays here and just kind of flip the uh, flaps on in and up and also flip these ones back here upwards. Uh, fold in the little landing gears if you haven't already. Next thing to do is going to be to uh, pull the legs out here like so and then what we're going to do is with this folded up just kind of come down here and find a good place to grip it that you're not going to break anything. In fact you can take these off if they're in your way and kind of just push it on up so it ends up making the thruster stick out a bit further here. 
Man, I really can't stand these back wings. Worst part of the uh, Masterpiece Seekers. Anyway, take this, push it on up. To open this up, it's easiest to just get this little green piece here and open them like so. Take out your uh, heel spur, basically. Just flip it straight down, close everything back up. Come around to the front here, and we'll pop this down and flip it around to make his uh, front feet. So there we go, we're done with the feet portion. We're gonna come to the side here and kind of make sure we get everything all disconnected on the wing. And uh, I like to fold this out like so um, to make sure I can get everything around before I fold it on up like this. So come back again, make sure everything here is disconnected, flip it open, and flip it on up like so. Oh yeah, you also had the air brake here. I always forget about this air brake. Um, it's still there. Cool that they still have it. Totally forgettable though. So now we're going to come down to the, uh, I guess the chest area. We're going to flip these arms out like so. Just kind of rotate this around so you have your uh, null rays positioned properly. And they do pop off. They're just on a... Uh, little ball joint here there we go and we'll fix his hand now like so pull the null ray down so it looks a little bit nicer do that again for this side flip it out flip this around up here fold the null ray down Flip the fist out, fix the thumb, so there we go, we got the two arms here. Now this part tends to give me a little bit of trouble with my acid storm, it doesn't have, I don't have any problems with the other versions of this mold, I have only acid storm, and uh, that's when you start to swivel these things around, sometimes they get a little bit caught in a strange way, you just kind of have to mess with them a little bit. Um, the more I'm using or messing with Acid Storm, the easier these get to move. I think it might just be that when the pin got pushed in, mine is, uh, you know, touching the back just a little and that's causing me a problem. Anyway, so once we have the chest set up like that, we're going to take the nose cone here down. And, uh, for me, I say always be careful of, uh, the head here because those expansion ear pieces kind of get caught when you're trying to bring the head on around. So it's always best to kind of squeeze it and push it on through first. So there we go, we got that. We're going to open up the cockpit here. We're gonna fold this down and you can actually leave your pilot guy in and just kind of fold this up and close the cockpit again. So once this is done, We'll come to the back here and just kind of swivel this on out. And then just like you would with your G1 Seeker, you pass the nose cone of the jet on through the chest cavity. And uh, you may see that the uh, pilot will fall out the back because that is the back of his chair. Um, if it does, then I guess just put it in a box. So flip this on through like that. And whoops, didn't take my own advice and got his ear things caught on there. Let me pull this off camera for just a second so I can pop his head back on the ball joint. There we go. And so we have this through the other side. Just make sure that everything is all lined up and looking good. And uh, you should be able to uh, kind of push everything down here if everything is lined up correctly. And you can bring these uh, the actual chest pieces on down now. And just bring this all down. And if it's done correctly, the uh, little tab 
inside here. Hard to see. You can see it with my hand in front of it. We'll plug into a little hole at the top. Uh, my acid storm took also a while on this step to actually make that fold down completely properly. Um, it just he he wouldn't slide down and everything all connect together nicely. But again, another thing of the more I seem to mess with them, the easier it gets to do what you're supposed to. So then once you've got all that done, you're pretty much finished. And you just kind of plug this little panel that's sitting here onto the nose cone to give it extra stability here in the chest region. And there you go. You're done. You have your uh, masterpiece acid storm here. So the one thing I really like about Acid Storm here is the green eyes that he has on his, you know, typical Starscream head. For some reason, even though it looks all the same, I mean, it's all molded exactly the same, it somehow feels like it's a bit different because of the uh, changing color. Um, on the chest here, if you want, you can open up the uh, little vent things and make a little missile pods. Uh, not that important to me. Uh, I'm not really going to go over the articulation on this guy. I'm sure you guys have all seen it before. Um, it's pretty good articulation. Uh, a little bit hindered by some of the kibble pieces, but really not that bad. So, instead of doing the full comparison of things, I'm just going to pull in the uh, ones, the updated masterpiece here. And uh, you can see here's Starscream next to Acid Storm here. Really nice contrasting colors. Um, the red head, or well, the red eyes and the darker face on Starscream really make it feel like it's a bit different. And uh, here is the last Toys R Us seeker that they offered, uh, Thundercracker. And, you know, <laughs> they're the seeker mold. I mean, can't really say too much more than that. Um, I don't think that Acid Storm is worth the 70 or 80 bucks or whatever he was going for originally. At 40 I think he's a pretty solid buy, but uh, I don't think he's going to go anywhere fast because uh, Thundercracker stayed around on the shelves for quite a while. And frankly, if you have Thundercracker, you probably don't need Acid Storm unless you're a Masterpiece fan or a Seeker fan. So this is T2RX6. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and I'll see you next time. And, uh, yeah, I've always liked the digital camo here. I know some people are not a huge fan of it, but I like the digital camo. Um, 